Warring factions in Libya may have agreed to a ceasefire, but the scars from nearly a decade of violence are everywhere. And a plan to hold nationwide elections in just over a year, reached recently in Tunis, hangs in the balance. Implementing it will be the challenge of the UN's new envoy to Libya. Luckily, Nikolay Mladenov, who served as one of Europe's youngest foreign ministers in Bulgaria, is used to difficult assignments. This is him talking to Al Jazeera about his last post as the Secretary General's Special Coordinator in Jerusalem. There is no Middle East peace process. I don't think either the Israeli or the Palestinian side, um, for the various different reasons, are in a position to actually currently engage in meaningful negotiations. That role of Middle East envoy will now be filled by a veteran Norwegian diplomat, Tor Vanesland. Once again, the task will be bringing Palestinian and Israelis back to the negotiating table in an attempt to revive the UN's long-stated goal of a two-state solution. It has taken months for Secretary General Antonio Guterres to fill the top position in Libya due to conflicting concerns on the Security Council. The United States, in particular, wanted changes to the way the operation is managed there. The process highlights the challenges in a country where the stakes are high for international actors as well as the local people. The complications of appointing special representatives uh, sometimes is not directly linked to their portfolio. Uh, other things are at play here. Russia has accused the U.S. of unnecessarily delaying the appointment, while the U.S. has accused Russia of violating the arms embargo and fomenting violence. But the Security Council agrees on some things. The members of the Security Council reaffirmed their commitment to the sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity and national unity of Libya. Which brings us to the new envoy's first task, enforcing a recent agreement to remove all foreign forces from the country by January. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, the United Nations.